Should I go on a date or not? What you think? All right, y'all. So I'm gonna be starting off with my eyes. Okay, my hair is short. It's not done. I'm gonna throw on a short wig. Okay, a short wig that I made. Okay. She's right here. She's cute. Okay. I'm just gonna pour on at the end of the video. Okay, for my get ready. Okay. But let's get started. Okay, starting off with my brows. Chill. I have been so 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 busy. Um, especially during the summertime. But now, I'm starting to slow down, okay? Um, I was busy with, um, with, um, bridal, um, makeup and hair booking appointments. And it seems like everybody wanted to get married this year. Is it me? Is it just me? I feel like there was so much wedding. I don't know, just because of the coronavirus. Like, people couldn't get the wedding done that year. So, people push it over. So, it's just been, like, really, 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 really busy with wedding season. Wedding season is pretty much wrapping up for this year. And I was booked back to back, like, every weekend since the summer. So, it just had me extremely busy with working all right so now my brows are on okay i fill them in with some regular brown pencil and i um clean them up with some ellie girl concealer and fun okay moving on so i moved i bought a home if you haven't watched that video girl go check it out okay but i did buy bought a home um i was located in philadelphia and I moved to Delaware. I bought my home in Delaware. It's about an hour, 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. It's not too far from Philly, depending on how far you are into Philly, from Philly to Delaware. So I have transitioned. I moved in May. And let me tell you, because I've been so busy with booking weddings and traveling, I haven't really had time to spend at home. So I'm just waiting for wedding season to be completely over, okay? So I can be home, stay home, and enjoy my home a little bit more. I got so much plan I want to do for my house, things I want to get done. That's another story. Time. That's another story for another day and another time. Okay. Being in Delaware compared to Philly, oh my God. Delaware is so quiet, like so, so, so quiet, and Philly is like where the party is, you know, it's, 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 it's happening in Philly, you know, and just transitioning from Philly to Delaware, it's like, oh my God, I have no noise here, like it's so quiet, the neighborhood is quiet, you don't hear anything during the day. You know, compared to Philly where you got everything going on. So, just transitioning from Philly to Delaware is, 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 you know, it's been a different transition for me. My son is trying to get used to school. He has to make new friends. And, you know, he's, he's been trying to get along with his classmates. He's in high school, so he's been, he's been trying you know, to make new friends and get to know the environment and the area, you know. So, we'll see how that works out for him. Plus, he doesn't have a choice. Now, I'm going in with my highlighter. My under eye highlight. I'm using the CoverGirl um, True Blend um, Concealer. And this is in Golden Amber. This right here, she be having me lit, okay? When I tell you she be having me lit, she be having me lit, lit. Okay, that's all I put there. And she be doing the trick. But uh, moving in, um, into Delaware and just being at home, um, I want to fix up my basement. I want to, you know, create a new salon um, down in my basement. Because I work from home, my old place. 
I always um, the hair at home and then I travel for my weddings and bridal clients um, so that is something I want to do with this new house I just have to get my coins and my cash together okay and I want to fix up my basement and put a salon down there I want to have enough space in my basement I want to have some classes I want to do wig making classes I want to do uh, makeup classes I want to do bridal clients and bridal hairstyles classes just having your business um, maintaining your business opening your business um, those are the different things I really want to do um, in my basement my basement is huge it's very big but it's unfinished so I need to get my points together to make sure I can um, be able to have those classes down there. I work from home and I'm comfortable working from home. A lot of people say, oh, why are you ever going to open a salon or a shop? I feel like I don't need to open a salon and a shop because I work and I'm comfortable to where I'm working at. Plus, I have, if you work from a shop, is a good business idea. But I like to travel. I like to meet new clients, especially with my bridal clients. I focus on my bridal parties and my bridal clients a lot. That I like to move on. If I do open a shop, I would have to be at that shop consistently. And I like to do freelance. So my freelance skills is for my bridal clients. I want to be able to move and go to them and see different places and different environments. Cause that's what I like to do. So I like to incorporate that into my business module. And that's why I never have the idea to open a salon or, or a place outside of my home. Because I want to be able to move around at my own pace and my own time. With that being said, so I just want to open up my basement, get it furnished, get a um, up to a stander where I can have classes in there. I can have a space to do salon work. I can do hair. I can have an area for makeup. And I can do different things. And that's just my module of working from home. You know, and I've just been loving it since I started working from home. And I love it. I work at my own pace. I'm a freelance and I can work from home if I want to and move around and see other places and do other things if I want to okay so now that I'm going to be looking forward to being at home I need to go on some dates like your girl hasn't had time to mingle a lot you know so this girl going to have to you know go on some dates I haven't had time so entertain anybody, you know. So my dating life is like, I'm going to go to sleep, wake up, and eat, and work. That's, that's been my dating life, which means I have none, okay? So I haven't gone on a date. I haven't done anything in a long, long-ass time, okay? Because I've just been busy working and just been out doing stuff. So, I haven't had time. So, I'm hoping, you know, this spring, fall season into winter season, you know, I'll slow down a little bit with traveling and working. And I want to make some time to go on some dates, okay? we we going to work on that. That's our Thanksgiving spring into winter situation we're gonna work on some going on some dates okay period 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 lashes are on we're gonna take this highlight off okay and girl for that i use my holy grill this right here this fit me we 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 right here 
here, me and her. We we right here. She she does me justice for my finished powder. Like she does me justice. It's my natural everyday beat. Period. Alright, so now we are here is here. We gonna snatch our wig on. Do you see this wig? <laughs> Honey child, I made this wig, you know. That's why I can't wait to start my wig making classes. I made this wig. You can pre-order it though if you want it. You can pre-order it. But I made this joint, okay? Do you see how, like, you don't even see her though. Do you see her? It's the wig for me. Period. <laughs> like, it's the wig for me. Period. <laughs> like, hey, sis. Ooh, look at you, sis. You cute. Maybe I should go on a date now. <laughs> should I go on a date or not? What you think? Listen. It's the wig for me, okay? That's the wig for me, period. But yeah, um, on a serious note, I actually made this wig, okay? I have done shortcuts. I've done Tara hair. I've done it with regular sewing weaves. I have done it with um, glue on. It usually goes on with glue on. But it took me years to perfect this. And I finally... Finally, figure out how I can get it to be snug to my head in the back and snug on the sides. Every time I did one of these, I could never figure out how to get this part right. But, sis, work on this wig for years, okay? Because it's try and error. I kept doing it, messing it up, doing it, mess it up, doing it, mess it up. But, except it was on the hair and glue down this part I could never get it to be flat and snug without lifting and pulling and I finally figured it out so I am I am excited about this okay so this is a way that I made you can pre-order it if you want it girl if you want it you can pre-order it but I'm absolutely in love with the cut I was just trying to do something funky with my shortcut, and this right here, this dummy did me justice, okay? I am in love with it, okay? You can't really wash it. So I wanted to try something that you can get to keep in between where you can wash it. And just like a regular um, wig that you will have, you will get to wash it as shampoo and conditioner. So it took me years to get this far with perfecting this wig, okay? But I, it took me time to get here. To get to this wig where this part is completely flat. 
back hair is snug so my hairline okay here it just perfect and I'm it's so excited I have made so many wigs since I opened my business but this one is my best one yet and I really 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 love the outcome of this wig I love the way it turned out and I was just giving it a funky shortcut that's really nice and sexy and you can see how pretty this wig is so yeah if you want this wig you can pre-order it girl and let's see if we can make it happen for you okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoy my get ready with me a little bit of chit chat life update um video um just talking with you guys while i'm doing my makeup I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you are old, thank you for being an OG. Sticking with me through the years. I love you. And if you are new, subscribe, girl. You need to. Because you're going to be missing out. Alright? Follow me on Instagram. This That's where it's happening. I upload my stories when I do hair and makeup on my clients of my bridal parties. Follow me on there. Fabulous on Instagram and Facebook if you can, okay? As always, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.